despite many locals working to stay cool by staying the night with friends or family. However, not everyone has some place to go. Two News Oklahoma's Shay Smith stopped by a local church that is helping residents during this time. Reverend Olivia Lane says once the power outages hit the Tulsa metro area, she decided to open the doors of the Southminster Presbyterian Church for those needing power or shelter. Reverend Olivia Lane says the church has been open since Sunday for residents needing to charge their electronics or medical devices or just cool off. She says the church has even been able to help residents with their medicine. One of the things that became immediately apparent for us was that there was a need for refrigeration for different kinds of medicines. Um, so we cleaned out our refrigerators and opened those up for people to come and refrigerate their medications if they had those. Reverend Lane says people have stayed the night at the church all week and on Monday the Red Cross set up a relief station at the church because places they were originally going to set up at don't have power. We are one of the overnight shelters that's available. If you show up, they'll have you sign in and they'll set up a cot for you. They feed you meals during the day and snacks and water. Um, if you have medical needs, they can talk to you. We have a nurse on site. Tammy Blackwell stopped by the church to cool off and find power. Yes, absolutely. I'm officing out of here and, um, you know, grabbing ice for the neighbors. Reverend Lane says helping the community during this time is important. We've talked a lot recently about what it means to just serve in action in our neighborhood. We have this huge facility, we have the ability to do this, and it is a joy for us to be able to put our faith into action in this way. And Blackwell says there's always a silver lining. Very blessed lately during this, you know, try to get worked up about it a little bit, maybe the traffic or something, and then you look over and there's all these people that have come to volunteer for us, you know, and I see everybody going, hey, good job, thank you, you know, like, like heroes. So. It's uplifting. You know, you can always find something good in the, in the bad if you try. Shea Smith, 2 News, Oklahoma. The church opens its doors at 6 a.m. and closes them at 11 p.m. However, there is someone at the church 24-7 to let people in after hours if needed.